Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are you, sir? Good. Always good to see you. I feel the same, Your Honor. Always. You doing okay? I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad we were able to fit you in. Sorry you had to wait a minute. I appreciate your patience. Let me set up the case first. This is position 20, case number 22CP208957, Jeffrey Williams. And I want to say good afternoon to you, Mr. Williams. I'm Judge Wolf. This is your felony for appearance. Good afternoon. We're doing this remotely because of COVID. You have the right to remain silent. You're presumed innocent, and you have the right to an attorney. Your lawyer, Mr. Steele, is on the call. So let me start with you, Mr. Steele. This is a first appearance. Do you want to be heard on probable cause or just bond? Um, we will be heard on bond, Your Honor. Okay. So let me ask. Is this your case, Mr. Smith? Yes, Judge. And is this part of that same indicted case or something different? That is correct. It is part of the uh, indicted case, Judge. Okay, if you could announce that first and then we'll go from there. Yes, Judge. So uh, these charges, uh, these warrants stem from uh, indictment number 22SC182273 uh, as well, Your Honor. Uh, would you like me to go ahead and proceed with my position on bond as well, Judge, or? Yes, please. Okay. So, it's the state's position that uh, Mr. Wood, given Mr. Williams' access to resources, um, and given that we're still in the process of uh, apprehending everyone on that larger uh, indictment, uh, Your Honor, uh, it's the state's position that he is a uh, flight risk, uh, as well as there's a clear risk to hinder the administrations of justice. Your Honor, um, officers executed a search warrant. Um, at the home of Mr. Williams, they recovered a large quantity of drugs, several firearms, one of which including uh, an automatic switch, making it a fully automatic machine gun. Um, and given the nature of these allegations of bond, Your Honor, we would respectfully request that you deny uh, bond. And I just want to understand, Mr. Smith, you're saying that Mr. Steele's client, Mr. Williams, he was indicted on that same 22SC18. 2273 or not? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. And I thought that it was the state's position for the delegation order from Judge Brasher that this court, you being a magistrate court judge, that I don't have authority to consider bond. Is that the case? Or are you saying that I that I do? Uh, and just to just to clarify, Your Honor, um, with that indictment, that was a direct indictment. These our additional warrants that were taken out stemming from that particular indictment, whether or not uh, these new warrants will become a part of that indictment, a decision has not been made as of yet. Got it. But they're within the four corners of indictment 22SC 182273. These warrants are not part of that indictment. That is correct, Your Honor. It would require a re-indictment if the state chose to do so. That is correct. Okay, so you do agree that uh, these charges have not been assigned to Judge Plainfield. They're unindicted, and it would be for the court to consider today. That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, I understand. And just, it goes beyond Mr. Steele's case with Mr. Williams, but I just want to know for future reference today, Mr. Smith, I appreciate the update. Position 18, Diamante Kendrick. Position 19, Martinez Arnold. They're in the same posture, correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, got it, got it. And Mr. Steele, just to bring you up to speed as well, there was a co-defendant or someone related, Sergio Kitchens, who was on the calendar earlier, represented by Mr. Samuel. His case, though, for today was strictly the case that was indicted a couple of days ago. That was a different situation. I'm going to treat this just like a regular first appearance. So with that in mind, um, let me go back to you, Mr. Steele. Um, do you want to be heard on probable cause or do you want to just be heard on bond? On your honor. Okay, got it. So the court does find probable cause based on warrants, Mr. Williams, for the following charges. Possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Possession of Schedule 3, 4, or 5 controlled substance with intent to distribute. Possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Possession of a sawed-off shotgun, a sawed-off rifle, I think in this case the allegation is a machine gun, dangerous weapon or silencer, 
unlawful for a person employed or associated with a certain organization to conduct or participate in that organization, unlawful for, and there are three. As 18 cycles began in 2008, he was about to stand up with the rest of the states of California and Georgia.